pew pew. That's proof of person. We're talking about Idina today. My name is Hunter, and I make videos all about crypto. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my content. And if you're on library, give me a follow as well. So as I mentioned today, we'll specifically be talking about IDENA. Now IDENA operates on a proof of person blockchain, the first of its kind, uh, where every node belongs to a certain individual and has equal voting power. So in that sense, uh, it is one of the most decentralized blockchains in terms of nodes and weight, which is really good, especially because that's kind of the point of blockchain. So the actual problem that it solves, um, and I kind of mentioned it there too, uh, is Number one, the blockchain oracle problem, where each node, each node itself acts as an oracle themselves. Uh, but not to mention, Idina also proves that you're a unique human being, uh, because to actually become a node, you have to pass a AI hard Turing test that occurs once every two weeks at the same time around the world. Uh, now, that Turing test is actually what they call the validation ceremony, and we'll take a look here. And it actually occurs, as I mentioned, every two weeks. But the purpose of it is to, again to prove that you're a human by solving 30 of what they call flips uh, within a, a fixed time period. I think it's about 30 minutes. Um, but a flip, which honestly I didn't know was what, what it was until now, um, is a test of common sense, really. So something that most humans have, of course, but machines and AI don't. So let's take a look, an example here, right? The flip next to me. So on the left, you'll see that there is a meaningful story behind each uh, flip or each little picture. And on the right is uh, pretty much a meaningless sequence of pictures as they have here. So let's kind of explain the left side. Clearly we can see a little plant, right? Cat comes over, he sees it and probably knocks it down. Uh, now the plant's knocked down. On the third thing you see here, there is a little, there's water all over the place. And you have to get a sponge over here to clean it up, right? Something that a human, uh, most, most humans can, can uh, you know, interpret and understand that there's a story behind it. Um, however, bots can't. And on the right, of course, is just some random sequence of pictures, literally just mixed up. So the point here is that, again, this is something that proves that you're a human by being able to, being able to solve a certain amount of these in a certain amount of time. Uh, and really just, again, solves that whole issue <laughs> of being able to prove that. So some of you may be thinking, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, this sounds kind of like CAPTCHAs. And you'd be kind of right. But there are already websites and services that are able to bypass CAPTCHAs. So, you know, that's kind of a moot point there. But to be part of the actual validation ceremony that they have, um, you can kind of, that's just kind of what it looks like. Uh, you actually need to be invited by someone who has already done it or has been validated themselves, including me. So if you did want to try it out, you can let me know in the comments below. And maybe I can see if the team, maybe you can send me invite codes to get to you guys. <laughs> or you can even ask them in the Telegram chat that they have. So with that being said, why does any of this crap matter, right? Who cares? Well, true decentralization, um, especially within blockchain, uh, really comes from the, dis the distribution of nodes and the weight of each node. So the fact that uh, each person can only have a one node and that the weight is essentially the same on all platforms, well, uh, for all people, uh, really does you know make it truly decentralized. Uh, but not only that, but really it gives you that unique identity without having to submit any personal information. Um, and that's actually what we'll go into now, which is the two examples of use that we have for the Idina blockchain. Now, uh, one of them, and I kind of mentioned it just there, was uh, using it for a type of sign-in, really um, a service that requires there to be only be one account per user, but doesn't want to take custody of anyone's information. Obviously, we know the implications of taking people's information and potentially, you know, not handling it or treating it well, or, you know, securing it uh, well. So a lot of companies, you know, probably don't even want to take as much information as they need to, as required by law. But here, that solves that issue, right? Here we're able to prove, okay, um, I can make sure everyone that uses my service has one account per person without having to, you know, take their phone number, their email, or even their social. So, for example, we can go ahead and click on sign in with Idina. It'll launch the application on my computer, which I have on the side over here. I'll proceed to scan, and that's it. I'm lo logged in. As easy as that. Uh, so it's honestly really cool how it works so far. I think there's an airdropping service that uses it as well. If you're on the website, you can take a look at uh, all the services that do use it currently. Uh, but I think it, I thought that was really cool. Uh, the next example that we have is going to go ahead and be on-chain marketing, which is, I thought was really interesting. So it's it could be somewhere where someone agrees to consume ads, let's say I do, um, by a certain person or address um, from them burning coins. 
So whomever burns the most coins at the end of the day has their right, has the right to show their ad to me. Uh, so for example, if I have a lot of iDNA that, that, you know, that let's say I want to sell, I can sell those to advertisers who want to, you know, go ahead and market to people on the chain as well. Uh, so that honestly drives, I think, an uh, immense amount of demand, especially and I, I don't know if this stuff actually technically works yet. Um, again, I, this is actually just straight off the website. But uh, if you do know if it does, you can leave you can leave it in the comments below and correct me. But I think this is so cool. <laughs> honestly, I've never seen this kind of use case for anything. Um, I'm sure maybe it's around, but pretty dope, I think. Now, once you actually uh, pass the validation session once, uh, pretty much you can actually mine the iDNA coin itself. Uh, and it actually doesn't require crazy hardware, which is good. As you can see here, I have the coin market cap page pulled up. Uh, so there's a total supply of 56 million iDNA and a circulating supply of 27.8 million. Um, again, as I mentioned, I, I mined it on my own computer. Uh, I, have, I have like a little laptop, so it's nothing crazy. Um, but the price of it you'll see is 27 cents uh, at current market value. And the market cap is like, <laughs> my God, it's like, the market cap itself is like 7.5 million bucks but it's ranked like 579. That's so deep. Uh, and not to mention, like, it just kind of started pumping again. I think if we look at the three month chart, we might see a little bit different. Cause I know it, I know it went down a little bit, um, but it like recently pumped again too. Uh, is it not gonna work? Okay, it's not gonna work. Anyways, <laughs> my thoughts, I don't know. I think I think Idina's really cool. Um, the whole, uh, like how it works and everything is so interesting to me. The fact that it's truly decentralized is, is dope. Uh, and I don't know, I think um, I think the reason why not a lot of people know about it is just because of the whole proof of person um, kind of lingo that they have. Uh, you know, people okay, people already, some people already don't like altcoins for whatever reason. So when they hear something called proof of person, they're like, okay, it's just bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when I first heard of it, I didn't think it was anything interesting either. But uh, it's really cool, honestly. I think uh, if you guys haven't tried it, you should give, you should really give it a try, at least before it gets big. Because I can, I can definitely see this thing working out 100%. Um, the way they have everything governed so far and how it works is so interesting. And I didn't even scratch the surface uh, with this video. So in that case, if you do want to learn more about IDENA, I'll leave a link below uh, to their website you know, in the description, uh, since I, only, I really only hit on some of the high-level stuff uh, that we spoke about today. So again, if you made it all the way to the end, you know, make sure you subscribe and follow. I really appreciate y'all for watching these videos. I've come to realize that a lot of you guys, um, I see, I've come kind of to realize that I should make videos specifically about certain communities and maybe market it to those communities. I think that's the only way to get any type of notoriety. <laughs> but in, in that case, again, uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Uh, let me know in the comments below, will you be a part of the IDENA network? Um, I know I am, and I definitely plan on staying a part of it. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the next validation session uh, this coming week, I think. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.